In this lesson, we'll show you how to import contacts, organizations, and leads into Streak from a spreadsheet. The Streak importer allows you to import data from a Google Sheet, CSV, or Excel file. There are three places you can import your data into Streak. First, you can import into your contact list, which includes contact information for individuals. Similarly, you can import into a list of organizations, which includes details about companies you work with. Importing to the contacts or organizations lists is most common for leads you haven't qualified yet or people or companies you want to store somewhere but not work with right away. For example, you might import a purchase lead list into your contacts list. Otherwise, you can import information about deals, including any related contacts or organizations, into your streak pipelines. Importing directly into your pipelines is the best way to track information about deals and take action. Streak Home has all of your import options in one place for easy access and a quick way to get started. In this lesson, we'll show you how to import deals and contacts into a pipeline. Before we begin the import, let's take a quick look at our spreadsheet and run through a few tips to make sure it's set up properly. As you can see, we have a row for each lead we want to import. Each column in the spreadsheet will map to a column in Streak. To avoid confusion, make sure each column has a unique name. It's important to have a name column for each deal or lead you're importing. Streak uses this to create new boxes in your pipeline or find and update existing boxes. The other columns, like deal size, business type, and lead source, are going to fill in the rest of your pipeline. Contact information like names, phone numbers, and emails will be added as Streak contacts and automatically added to your contact list. Each column can only be imported once, so, if the name of the deal is also the name of your contact or organization, create a separate column for each one. Split contact first and last names into separate columns. This ensures accurate imports into Streak. If you have multiple contacts for the same deal, create a new row with the same box name for each contact. Once imported, Streak automatically enriches your contacts and organizations with any publicly available data like social media links. Now that we've given our spreadsheet a once over, it's time to run the import. We'll import directly from a pipeline by clicking the orange plus button in the upper right corner and selecting import. Next, choose your data source and your importer settings. The majority of imports use the default import settings. Here's what they do. Automatic email sharing means that Streak will automatically scrape your team's inboxes for emails with each contact and add them to the deal. This gives you a complete interaction history for each deal as soon as you finish the import. Update existing boxes means if we find a box with the same name in your pipeline, we'll update it with the information in your spreadsheet. This helps you avoid creating duplicate boxes and allows you to add multiple contacts to a box. Toggle this off if you want to create a new box in this scenario instead. Finally, keep Create Missing Items enabled if you have a stage, drop-down option, or tag in your spreadsheet that doesn't already exist in your pipeline. This allows us to add it to your pipeline when you run the import. Once you've reviewed your settings, click Continue to select the import file. You'll now see your spreadsheet data in the Streak Importer tool. This tool will guide you through the rest of the import. The first step is to confirm your header row with the column names. This is typically already selected at the top of your spreadsheet, and it's how you'll match the columns here to the ones in your pipeline. Then, we'll map all of the columns that we want to import. Streak automatically detects and maps columns with the same name to save you a few steps. You can create a new pipeline column in the step if it doesn't already exist in your pipeline. At the bottom of the Pipeline Columns menu, click Add New. Edit the column name if needed and choose the data type. Once you've mapped all of the data you want to import, click Next. If your data has any errors, you can fix them here before importing to your pipelines. Work through the list on the right-hand side to fix any errors in your spreadsheet. You can review and fix individual errors or make updates in bulk, like date formatting. Finally, you can also use the Find and Replace tool to update anything in your spreadsheet. Once you've fixed any errors, click Finalize Import. Looks like our import was a success. In the following lessons, we'll show you how to begin working these deals with your team and streak.